Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, guys. How are you tonight? Good it's evening. Thursday. Good evening, Rene. Welcome, okay. Marielo. Hello. Hello. Yes. Welcome, Jensi. Jessica Esmeralda. Rene, welcome. Good evening. Luz Garcia, welcome. Welcome, teacher. Hey, welcome to your class, Jonathan. We have Roxana Guadalupe. How are you tonight? Are you ready for the yeah. holiday? <laughs> for the Independence Day? Yes. Yes, you're ready for tomorrow. Are you going to watch the parade? Van a ir a ver el desfile? Are you going to watch the parade? No, descansar. No. It's, yeah, it's preferable, right? To relax. It's necessary to relax on that day off, on that free day. Yes, Veronica, welcome. Welcome Thank to you. your session. Welcome. All right, let's begin. Yesterday, we were talking about sports. And you were saying, right, what are the sports that you practice? But what about the sports that you watch? What the sports do you watch? Marielos, what the sports do you watch? Soccer. Soccer. Okay. Uh, do you have a favorite team? Uh, Barcelona. Ah, Barcelona. Why? Why Barcelona is your favorite team? Eh, bueno, por Messi, ahora Messi está en Estados Unidos. Ah, uh, yes. He changed, right? Crea <laughs> Milán, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. yes, Milán. Ok, that's good. Thank you. Nice. What about you, Jensi? What sports do you watch? ¿Sí? What the sports do you watch on the TV or maybe on your cell phone? Mm. On TV, uh -huh. What the sports? Basketball, swimming, soccer. Mm, basketball. Basketball. All right. Do you have a favorite team? Un equipo favorito? A favorite team? Mm, no, no, don't have a favorite in no, general. I like to watch it, it's exciting, right? It's emotional. Ah, puede ser la NBA. The NBA, oh, yes, they, it has very good puede players. Ser. It's true, yes. Thank you, <laughs> Jessica. What about you, Jessica Esmeralda? <laughs> hey, good evening. Um, Seria Room. Uh -huh. And climate. And? Climate. Ah, the climax. Is that a team? Es como correr y a la vez este, escalar. Ah, climbing. Climbing. Exact. You, do you practice the sport or you watch on TV? Um, you practice. You practice, you practice. Hey, yeah. Yeah. that's good. Thank you, Joaquin. What about you? What sports do you watch? Joaquin? Don't listen, maybe. Hello. Hello, Joaquin. Hola. Hello, Joaquin. <coughs> Hello. Hello, hello. Can you listen? Hola. Can you listen? Se escucha. Maybe has problems with the audio. What about you, Oscar? Eh, sí, aquí estoy. ¿Me escucha? Yes, I can listen to you very well. Okay. Gracias a Dios me logré conectar a tiempo. <laughs> hey, that's very good. Welcome to the class. Okay, gracias. Thank you. Thank you. We are talking about like what the sports do you watch on TV? Um, oh, sorry. Sometimes in the past, and football and basketball. Uh huh. And in the present? In the present, nothing. Nothing. You don't nothing. watch. You don't have enough time. Don't have only, only, only watching uh, when uh, uh, Cruz Roja uh, practice okay. um, swimming. 
Ah, for interesting. Work. For work. Uh -huh. Ok, that's good. Ok, nice one. Caso, sí, yo, yo, antes que me pasara esta acción hace mucho tiempo, eh, yo fui miembro de Cruz Roja Salvadoreña activo en, ah, en el okay. área de guardavidas de Cruz Roja. Hey, ah, antes que puse la financiación de ahora. Esa es la yeah. acción que era en Cruz Roja, no solo por nadar, sino que es salvamento. Y hay que Ajá. pasar el paso de es este... En, la libertad a las 9 de la mañana y salir hasta el puerto de eh, la playa, el Metalillo, en Sonsonate. Wow. Eh, eso se va llegando como en las 4. Sí. Y what's a long Pero distance. Y what's a good sí, practice. Sí, lanchas eh? y todo eso. Porque... Ajá. Sí. El que no aguanta, pues no lo pasa y se tiene que subir una lancha, porque si no van lanchas también uh, peligroso por los tiburones también. Ah, yes, it's very sí. dangerous. Es hombre, ¿verdad? Ajá. <risa> yes. Sí, correcto. It's correcto. very dangerous. Pero eso fue hace mucho tiempo. Hoy estoy ah. desactivado en eso yo. Deactivated. Sí. So in the past, yeah, that's good. You were very active there. You needed to have a very good resistance, right? Physical resistance. Ajá. Yes. Sí, sí, sí. Wow, but it's very good so because my... you help people, right? You save people. Yeah. So that's so nice. For the members in the in the scene. Uh huh. Yeah, that's in true. The... Thank you. Interesting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Rene, Thank what you. about you? Thank you. Thank you. What about you, Rene? What the sports do what you watch? What sports do you watch? Play soccer. Ah, okay. Do you do you practice? Do you do you practice? Yes. You practice it, so you play soccer then. And do you watch on TV? Mm -mm. No, you don't watch no. it. Only practice. You only yeah. practice it. Mm -hmm. All right, so you practice it. You need to do exercise there, right? Thank you. What about you, Veronica Cecilia? Welcome. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good night. Well, I practice uh, swimming. Uh huh. Yes, I yes, remember that. Three times yes. a week, uh -huh. one hour. Yeah. Um, I practice yoga. Right. And Ooh, you are a relaxed person. Volleyball. Yes. And volleyball. Okay, that's good. And you watch on TV? Do you watch any sport on TV? And on TV, only uh, swim. Only swimming. Okay, that's nice. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, now look, we talk about this, the ones that we practice, and also the, the support that we watch on TV. Now, let's continue. It says, what sports do you like? Let's check here. We continue talking about those. In this one, we are going to include the WH questions. And additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in the real life setting. So let's check. We're going to watch the video about that. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to add No problem with the video? It's okay? No. No problem. All right, thank you. Ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. 
Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, as you can observe there on the video and listen also, we have different types there of to formulate questions, but with WH. In this one, you can also watch the conversation. It's a short conversation. As you saw it there, we formulate the question depending what you want to investigate. So here we have it. We're going to practice it. And the name of the conversation is I love sports. It's Lorraine and Justin. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. 
when do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. So this person is a fan, but just to watch it, right? Imagine it's only a fan, <laughs> but doesn't practice at all. <laughs> Let's continue. We're going to start it to practice. René, you're going to begin. You're Lauren. René? René, can you listen to us? Yes, aquí estoy. All right, good. Let's start, please. The first line. So. So. Justin. Justin. Justin, what do you doing? Do. What do you do? Doing. Do. 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 Uh -huh. In your free time. Very good. Faster, más fluido. You can do it. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Repeat it. So. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Free time. Very good. Thank you. Continue. Veronica Cecilia, please. So we know well, we I love sports. Well, I love sports. Thank you, Marielos. Really? What sport do you like? Very good. Thank you, Jensi. Jensi? Yes. Okay, let's read this one, please. Um, um, hockey. Hockey. Baseball. Hockey. Hockey. hockey baseball and soccer. 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 Soccer are my favorites. Very good. Faster, more fluent. Again, um, repeat it, please. Um, uh -huh. Okay. Hockey. Okay, but, um, Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Very good job. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda, continue, please. How? Wow. How? How? Wow. 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 You're, you're a reality good. A really? A really? A really good athlete. 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 Good. Repeat it, please. Wow. You're a really wow. good athlete. You're, you're a reality. A really? A really good uh, athlete. Athlete. Pero mi... Are you there? Hello? Athlete. athlete. All wow, right. You're a really good athlete. Good athlete. Uh -huh. Continue, please. Continue. When do you play all the all this sport? All these sports. Thank you. Continue, Fatima Araujo. Oh, I don't play this sport. I use what I just, uh, ten, I just, I just uh -huh. what thing on television. On television. Very good job. Yes, very good. Okay, now we are going to practice again. Ibis, now you are Lauren. So okay. Justin. Night, teacher. Welcome, Ibis. Thank you. Uh, so, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Thank you, Veronica Alegría. Continue. Well, well, I love sport. Thank you. Good, Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. Hi, teacher. Present? Hello, girl. Perfect. Welcome. Jessica? Problems with the audio? No? Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello. Really? What sport do you like? Thank you. Ana Beatriz, continue. Ana Beatriz? Is not present? Luz Garcia? Yes. Yes. Okay, Ana. Uh, Thank you. Uh -huh. 
Um, hockey, hockey, Be hockey, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Very good. That's nice, Miguel Antonio. Yes. Yes. Continue, please. Wow. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Good, good athlete. Good ah. athlete. Wow, you're a really good, good, good athlete. Nice. Uh huh. When? When do you play all these sports? Thank you. That's good. Let's continue then with Carlos Arturo. Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Very good job, guys. That's great. Good. Do you have new vocabulary? Teacher, buenas noches. Hey, good evening, Jessica. Disculpa del caso que estoy en el trabajo, entonces aquí estamos. Ah, you are, the, yes, at the job. Okay. No problem, don't worry. Okay. No questions with the vocabulary? I just. I just. Yo I just. solo. Yo solo o yo únicamente. Solo los veo en televisión. I just watch them on television. Okay. Okay, now we can practice this one. Look, we have a question. What do you do in your free time? Tell me, Jonathan. Jonathan, what do you do in your free time? Do you play any sport? Or um, you go to the beach, you go to the park, you walk, you run? I, I do exercise. You do exercise, excellent. In your yes. house? Or in the park, or where? Where do you in do exercise? House. In your house. Very good. House. That's nice. Yes. Great. All right. Thank you. Now let's see, Roxana. You formulate the questions to to Jessica Rivas. Formulate the question. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Thank you. Excellent. Jessica Rivas. No escuché muy bien, ¿me lo podría repetir? Yes. Roxana, can you please repeat it? What do you do in your free time? Thank you. Jessica? Jessica Rivas? Me escucha. Hello, Jessica? Jessica? Sí, me escucha, es que no se le yes. escuchaba cortado. Hey, now? ¿Ahora? ¿Ahora sí se escucha? ¿Ahora? ¿Qué hago en mi tiempo libre? Es la pregunta en español, ¿verdad? Ajá, that's correct. What do you do in your free time? Do you play? Do you run? Do you swim? I clean in my house. I clean my house. Mira, ya tenemos el número que nos dio. No sé si me escucha, es que se escucha otro audio. Ajá, yes. If you help me with I, the audio, I please. clean my house. I clean my house in my free time. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Veronica Cepeda, you formulate the questions to Ibis. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time, Ibis? Nice. Thank you. Okay. Um, I am go to the church. I go. I go. We go to the church. Mm -hmm. uh, I go out. I go out. Uh, I go out. Mm -hmm. okay. go out. All right, that's good. Thank you. Eh, Veronica Alegría, you formulate the question to Fatima Araujo. What did you do in your free time? Excellent. Um... La respuesta sería what? The ¿Cómo answer. es que son las respuestas? The answer will be, uh, if you say, I clean my house, like Veronica mentioned, ah, okay, uh, okay, okay. I swim, I run, I walk, I practice, okay. I practice uh, like uh, running. I will, uh, what? I go? Uh, I go, uh, Go, go to the park. Correr. Oh, I run. I run. I run. I run. Uh-huh. That's Gracias. good. So you run? 
in your free time? Where do you run? In the park, in the stadium, in your uh, around your house, where? Where do you run? Katima? Um, in the park. In the park. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Now let's see another question. Ana Beatriz, are you here, Ana? Ana? Yes. Yes. Okay, you formulate the question to Marielus. Mm. What do you do in your free time? Mm. What do you do in your free time? Right. I play basketball in the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. Very good job. Thank you, guys. Very good. Okay. Now, let's have here. Notice here that we have different WH questions. Like, what do you do in your free time? Also, you have like, a, when when do you play all these sports? But we have other type of questions. So, let's see. That here in the simple present WH question, you investigate a specific information. For example, what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. So this is another frequency. Once, one time. Twice, two times. Una o dos veces. Ajá, correct. So if we say once, una vez. Twice is two times. Two times. Uh -huh. Una o dos veces a la semana. So this is frequency. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. So they have a specific days. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. They also have a specific hour that they do this, a specific time that they practice it. Now, it, the formula that we have is WH words plus auxiliary, right? We have the simple present, do and does. It depends on the subject that you have. Then you have with, it can be with or whom, whom do you play baseball with. For example, where do you play? Then you have this one, right? Who do you play baseball with? So it's different questions here. Do you have questions with this part? Any new vocabulary? Uh, teacher, ¿cómo, uh -huh. perdón, ¿cómo se pronuncia la palabra? ¿Es twist o cómo? Uh, twice, twice. Twice. This uh -huh. word, twice. Uh -huh. And this is once. Once, twice. Once or twice. Twice. Y once la pregunta, la que se ha formulado, termina con preguntando con quién. Con quién. Who? Like uh, this one. Who do you play baseball with? Mm -hmm. This is more common because you can also ask like this. Well, it has. Who do you play baseball with? We know that we have a WH plus do or does plus the subject. The verb in the base form, you have the noun plus with. And at the end, you have the question mark. But there is another manner. You can also say, with whom do you play a baseball? With whom do you play bingo? With whom do you play a soccer? But it's more common to use who do you play baseball with? Mm -hmm. You also have where, you investigate the area, if it's in the park, in the stadium, in your house. How often the frequency, right? Always, sometimes. Or this will be a specific once or twice a week. When we know that is about the time, right? Cuando, cuando se practica. So on a specific days or occasions. What time we know that is the hour. Mm -hmm. Especifica el with es para especificar entonces el área o el tiempo, la hora. With. Which one? Uh -huh. With? No, esa es con uh -huh. quién. Esta preposición uh -huh. es cuando eh, investiga con quién. Like, uh -huh. who with? Uh -huh. Who do you play? 
incluía, incluía con quienes eh, practicaba esta actividad. Ajá, correcto. Like, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Eh, I play with my family. I play with my neighbors, with my classmates, mm -hmm. my brothers, my sisters, cousins. So investigate like the company. Investiga como la compañía. ¿Con quién juega? ¿Con quién se realiza una actividad? Ok, gracias. You're very welcome. We have more examples. Here we have another conversation. We have here, like conversation. When do you play all these sports? We have about Tara and Victor's conversation. Tara starts and says, so Victor, what do you do in your free time? Well, I really like sports. Cool. What sports do you like? My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and tennis. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play them very often. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Very similar, right? This situation is very similar than the conversation that we have here. It's so similar. Just some of the details that they change here. Do you have new vocabulary? No, teacher. No, no new vocabulary? All right, let's go ahead then here. Now let's formulate our own questions. What sports do you like? Let's mention them. What sports do you like? Marielos? I like bas basketball. Basketball? And you play basketball too, right? Yes. Yes. And I remember you said that you played uh, basketball on Sundays, right? Or Saturdays. No, Saturdays, you said, right? Saturday. On Saturday. Yes, that is true. Okay. Now, Marielo, you formulate the question that you decide. You formulate one here and you are going to ask Veronica Alegría. The, the for one. What sport do you like? Oh, the one that you prefer, like you say, Lija. Uh, how often do you practice bas basketball? Mm -hmm, okay. Um, si yo no practico, como diría. I don't practice. I don't practice uh, any sport. Ningún deporte o o practica alguno. No ninguno. Ninguno. <laughs> okay. So then you can ask like a like this. Answer it like this. I don't practice any sport. I don't practice any sport. Very good. I don't practice. Practice. Any sports. And it will okay. be like this. It will be negative manner. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's continue. If it's, you formulate a question, you're going to ask Catherine Rebecca. Uh, okay. Catherine, good night. Hey, good evening, Catherine. Welcome. <laughs> when do you play football, Catherine? Yes. Yes, I... When? Uh, when do you practice? Wait. On Monday, yes. on. Uh-huh. Yes, I practice play football. Uh -huh. When do you practice it? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo lo practica? On Saturdays, on Sundays. Saturday. On Saturdays, all right. So I practice on Saturdays. That's good, okay. So you need to be on the weekend, right? Yes, good. Veronica Cepeda, you formulate the question to René. Formulate the question that you prefer. When do you play football? Mm -hmm, right. Don René. René. When do you say? play football? <laughs> Él dijo que jugaba fútbol. Ajá, yes. Yes. You said you play. When? 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 On Mondays, Tuesdays. When? On the Saturday. On Saturday. Ajá. Saturday y... And? On Monday. On Monday. Mondays. Ah, okay. So you practice or you, I play. You can say I play football. On Mondays and Saturdays. Saturday. 
Mm -hmm. Repeat it. I play football. I play football. On Mondays. On Monday. And Saturday. And Saturday. That's all right. Good one. Okay. Now, what about if we ask, who do you play? Cuando. That's who? when. Uh -huh. That's when. Like, cuando, right? Who? Let's formulate the question with who with. Who? Miguel Antonio, formulate who? the question, please. You're going to ask Fatima Araujo. Investigate who with. We need to practice who with. Who oh, with. Who do you play basket, basketball with? Very good. Mm -hmm. Who do you play basketball with? Fatima Araujo, are you here? Um, dijo, what do you do? No, who? Eh, who? No. Can you repeat it, please? Who, who do you play basketball with? Thank you. Um, yes. Who? Eh... who with? Who with? Con quién? Ah, con quién? Uh -huh. um, con mis friends. With my friends? With my friends. My cousin. Mm -hmm. practice. So it will be like this. I practice, right? Uh -huh. You can say, I practice with my friends my and cousin. cousin. Uh -huh. Your friends and your cousin. <laughs> Only those people? Okay. So you start like this, right? With the subject. That's all right. Thank you. Now, we have this type of questions. Do you have questions with this? With WH questions? Yeah. No questions about it? No. 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 Okay. Remember that in the platform, you also have, right, that exercise, 5.4. And it appears on conversations. In conversation uh. one, it says, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Now, what will be on the part B, the best option? Do you usually watch soccer? In what? Uh, Where will be? Uh huh. Yeah. No. Eh, yo antes pensaba que para hacer ese tipo de preguntas, así como, como practicaba deporte, es decir, with. este, who do you with, who do you with, así, pero veo que el with está al final de, en la end. pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, normally goes at the end, normalmente va al final, o puede ir después del verbo, y después de with puede llevar un complemento, pero debe de ir después del verbo. Ah, ok, después de decir, who do you, ya puede ponerte... With, Who do you play? In algún... Ajá, Ajá, correct. For Who example, you if you okay. say like this. Who do you play? Do you do play you... soccer with? Like this. This is a, a normal question. Who do you play yeah. soccer with? Mm. But if you want to include the place, for example, se quiere incluir como el lugar. Who... Do you play soccer with a, at the stadium? At the stadium. Mm -hmm. You can order like this. También se puede ordenar de esta manera. Like ah, this. Okay. Who do you play soccer with at the stadium? Or who do you play at the stadium? Uh, who do you play soccer at the stadium with? That's another possibility. Like this. Ah, okay. You play mm -hmm. is soccer at the stadium with. So here you have different possibilities. In the first one, because you don't include the place. En el primero no estamos incluyendo el lugar, por eso es que lleva eh, with al final. Mm -hmm. Pero ah. si incluimos el lugar... Podría ser, who do you play soccer with at the stadium? Or who do you play soccer at the stadium with? Las dos formas son, son correctas. Ah, ok, mire, gracias que me sacó esa duda. 
Uh -huh. You're very welcome. Uh -huh. You have different possibilities here. Okay. Siempre cuando vaya you. después del verbo, ¿verdad? No puede ir como who with, who with do you play. Uh, but another possibility will be with whom that it will be more formal. Este sería más formal. With sí. whom. Pero ya no es with who, es with whom. With whom do you play soccer at the stadium? Stadium. Like this. With whom do you play soccer at the stadium? Just that here you have the preposition. Preposition is with. And the WH sí. is whom. Pueden ir juntas. Pero ya no sería who, sino que whom. A whom. Uh -huh. With whom. With whom do you play soccer at the stadium? Or who do you play soccer at the stadium with? Who do you play soccer It's with whom? at the stadium? Whom es como whom. algo ya plural, como quiénes. No, no. Siempre se refiere no. a quién, a alguien. Solo que lo que pasa Ajá. es que whom trabaja como un eh, objeto pronombre con quien se realiza algo, a quien va dirigida una acción, porque yo juego con alguien. Uh -huh. Y ese who, cuando yo lo separo de with, es de manera más informal, pero es más popular utilizarlo así. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Y hay una palabra que, que se pronuncia guess, que significa guess. como que si fuese. Yeah, ajá, like this. Como... Guess. Uh -huh. guess. When you say guess. I guess, supongo. Uh -huh. Este es el verbo suponer o creer algo, pero de suponerlo. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Por menos decir guess how, ¿qué significa guess how? Guess how, eh, adivina cómo, también es adivina, es adivinar. Ah, de adivinar, sí, yo Ajá. recuerdo Depende algo. del contexto, depende del contexto también es adivinar. Eh, also, eh, there is a phrase that says, guess what, adivina qué, guess what. Mm -hmm. guess. Entonces Ajá. es como like, like que es me gustar y también puede ser cómo. Ah. Exactly, ajá. Sí, puede ser gustar, eh, también like, así como usted menciona, también puede ser como cuando comparamos algo. Ok. Uh -huh. It's like en, en una comparación de elementos. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so remember this one. What will be the best option? Podría ser, teacher, ajá. where usually watch soccer. Usually, Which? where? Where do you usually? It can be where? Uh -huh. When? When? But what happens is that it depends on the answer. La estructura está bien, pero como depende de la respuesta acá. Because ah, it says on Sunday afternoons. Sunday. Yes? So the best option here will be when. Ah, es que yo estaba viendo la primera, lo, el primero. Uh -huh. Y como acá la respuesta también va unida a esa. Ah, When sí. do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. ¿Dónde? No, when, when. Ah, when, yes. when. Ajá, porque es cuando. Y aquí la respuesta es eh, los domingos por la tarde. Ahí so the question aquí. will be when, like this. When. When. That will be. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. What about B? What will be the best option? And do you usually watch it at home? Where? Where, where? excellent. So that will be where. Exactly, because it mentions later the place. Where do you usually watch it? At home? So it's referring uh -huh, to the place, to where. Question about this? All right, so we're going to have some minutes to pass the list, guys. Okay, teacher. Let me know, please, if you are present. Adaliset? Adaliset, no present? Ana Beatriz? Present. Thank you, Ana. Thank you, Ana. Angélica? 
Angélica María. Present. Thank you, Angélica. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Christian Daniel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Edith Lorena. Edith Lorena. Fátima Yesenia. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Gabriela Abigail. Gabriela Abigail. Ibis Arely. Present, Miss. Thank you, Ibis. <coughs> Jessica Saray. Jessica Saray. Joaquín Jesús. Present. Present. Thank you, Joaquín. Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you so much. Catherine Rebecca. Thank you, Catherine. Kevin Orlando. Kevin Orlando. Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. Liliana Patricia. Ya respondió Lenin en mensaje. Thank you, thank you so much. Liliana Patricia. Liliana. Luz Marquez. Present. Thank you, Luz. María de los Ángeles. María de los Ángeles. Present teacher. Thank you, María. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. I'm present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you so much. Roxana Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cecilia. Present teacher. Thank you, Verónica. Verónica Maricela. Present. Thank you, Maricela. Jensi Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. And Jessica Rivas. I'm present teacher. Thank you so much. Aquí tiene su documento. Okay, gracias. All right, guys. Now we're going to continue here with a new part. Okay, we'll go ahead then with the form of can and can't. Look, this one is to show abilities and disabilities. It's like when we can do something. So that's to show that. Those are abilities and disabilities. We have, for example, like this. If you have the ability to draw, I can draw. Yo puedo dibujar. So that's ability. Another one, it can be, I can swim, right? You have the ability to swim. What about this one? What about number three? What do you think is disability? In number three. Photographer. Uh -huh, but the action? Photogra what is the action? Take a pic. Take a picture. Ah, take a picture. Excellent. I can take, and you can say in general, right? I can take pictures. Very good. That's nice. What about the picture number four? I can sing. I can sing. Yes, that's correct. Good. Okay. So let's write it here. I can sing. So we're showing different abilities here, abilities that you have, right? We have different abilities, a variety of abilities. These are only examples that we have. Now let's check here others. 
on this one. Let's see about the grammar form that we have. Can for ability. We have affirmative or negative. For example, if you say, I can sing very well. You can sing very well. She can sing very well. He can't sing at all. Can't. Now it's negative. That means don't have the ability. At all, that means para nada. Él no puede cantar para nada. So this is negative form. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. If you observe here, with all of the subjects, we are going to say like the same manner, equal manner of the modal. This is a modal. Can es un modal para expresar habilidad o inhabilidad. So we have, it's the same form of the modal. La misma manera del, del modal, right? La misma forma, no change. Now, if you formulate a question, it will be like this. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can she sing? Can he sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? Now, in this one, you formulate a question. Puedes cantar? Puedo yo cantar? Puede ella cantar? So this question, right? As this one is a modal auxiliary. Este es un modal, pero a la vez es mi auxiliar. Aquella no voy a utilizar. Do. Can do you sing? No, porque este es mi único auxiliar. In the answer, if this one is affirmative, let's suppose that you say, eh, can you sing? Yes, I can. If it's yes, negative? Uh -huh. no. If it's negative? No, I can. I can. Correct. Can she sing? Yes, she can. Negative? No, she can. So, can be affirmative or can be negative. In a WH question, remember that is a specific, right, information. What can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? What can I do? The answer will be, you can sing. Who can sing? ¿Quién puede cantar? Who can sing? Becky can. Or Becky can sing. Do you have question in this part? No. No? No question? Okay. No Remember question. that this can substitutes do. And that's it substitutes. This is my only auxiliary here. And represents ability. Let's check this one. Can and can't. We can have affirmative or we can have negative. In the first one, number one, you have, I can cook. Negative, I can't cook. You see, the pronunciation is necessary to put emphasis in the letter T because it's negative, right? If not, we are going to confuse with affirmative. I can cook, I can't cook. Okay, number two, I can drive, I can't drive. I can swim. I can't swim. Number four, I can dance. I can't dance. So it's ability or inability. So what do you think about this boy? He's cooking right now. Can he cook? I can cook. He can cook. He can, he can cook, cook, right? Can cook. Uh huh. He can't cook. What about John Travolta and his partner here? Give me an example. Mm. He can or, or he can't? He can. He can dance, right? What about her? About she? She can she, she can, can dance, dance, right? Uh-huh, that's good. So we can use them in this manner, right? Now, if you include both subjects, what subject corresponds? Ellos. What will be? You, we can. We, they. We can. Ellos. Or they ellos. can. They, they can. can. Uh -huh. Excellent. So that would be? They, they can, can dance. dance. That's <laughs> correct. They can <laughs> dance. That's all right. Good one. Okay, we have another exercise here. He says that we have six people here. And we have Ben, we have Sarah, we have Diane, Jeff, Lisa, and Megan. 
this phrase, right? We do it as a per person. If you say, Ben says, I can swim. Look, he has the ability to swim. Puedo nadar. So I can swim. Sarah, what will be? What will be the to complete I can, here? Uh -huh. I can fix car. I can uh -huh, fix car. What is fix? Do you remember what is fix? Arreglar carros. Arreglar carros, reparar carros. So it can be a, a, a synonym of repair. What about Diane? I can't. No, she can't sing. I can't, I, right? <laughs> In this case, it I would be can't she can't because look at the other words. Uh -huh. I, can, no. I can't sing. I can't. I can't. 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 Because look at the, the other woman. It's like, no! Uh -huh. I don't like it. <laughs> says I can't I can't sing what about Jeff I can't I checked I skate okay now I let's skate. use it let's use it in third person utilicemos ahora en tercera persona how uh, is Jeff he, he or she he, he can't he I can't. skate ah very I good skate. he can't right he can't I skate look he fell down he had problems there. What about Lisa? You she said can, can't play the piano. She, she can't can play the piano. She can, right? Uh -huh. She can. She can play the piano. <laughs> what about Megan? She can't cook. She can't. Oh my God, yes. Look at fire, right? She has a lot of difficulties in the kitchen. So she can or she can? She can. She can. Can. She can. Right? Let's do the negative manner. We have negative form there. So we have these cases. Now let's repeat them. Let's check here. Oscar, repeat the first one, please. Number one. Okay, okay, okay. I can swim. Swim, very good. Thank you. Jessica Vanessa. Yeah. Number two. Jessica Rivas, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, girl. Can you repeat number two, please? I can. I can. Car. I can fix cars. Very good job. Thank you. Let's continue. Catherine Rebecca. I can't sing. I can't? I can't sing. Very good. Really nice. Nice. Okay, Miguel Antonio, continue with number four. Miguel? Miguel, are you there? Rene? Go ahead Hello. with number two. Number two, please. He can't I skate. She can. He. He. She. She can. He can't. Can. I skate. I skate. I skate. That's good. Marielos, continue. Number five. She can play uh -huh. the piano. The piano, excellent. That's correct. Ana Beatriz. Number six. Yes. Who we'll continue? Problems with the audio. Veronica? Veronica Cecilia? She can cook. She can't cook. Yes, that is all right. Good one. Okay. Now, tell me. Give me an example. Evis, please. Tell me. I can. An example. An ability that you have. For example. No, it can be about you. Your information. I 
I can't. I can't. I can't dance. Dance, okay. Can or can't. Can dance. Okay, well, here we have a case of affirmative, right? Yes. It's, a, it's affirmative, right? Okay, I can dance. All right, guys, good. We started with abilities, can or can't. We are going to continue on Monday practicing it, okay? Yes. Thank, you, Thank you so you much. Monday. See you Monday. Have a beautiful See night. You See you on Monday. See you Monday. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Good dreams. Good night. Have a happy night. Have a happy weekend. <laughs> nice holiday. Take care. Teacher, una consulta. Good night. Good night. Hello. Teacher, una consulta, mañana habrá clases. No, 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 we don't have classes. Solo es de lunes a jueves. A menos que haya un imprevisto, ¿verdad? Y tenga que reprogramarse clases. Pero no, esta vez. Clases. Perfecto, gracias. See you on Monday. Thank you.